the same as Christ. We have only one way to do that, and that's to get in God's word together that we might have the mind of Christ. See, I'm holy this morning, Lord God. And God is, he's not given us everything because he couldn't. The Bible says in Revelation that, that the books couldn't even hold the, the knowledge and foreknowledge of God. There's no, not, no number of books can hold it all. But can I tell you, God has given us exactly what he desires for us to know about his mind this morning right here. We must be diligent readers, heaters, doers of God's word this morning. When was the last time you picked up your Bible? When was the last time you read the pages? When was the last time I got before God and I said, I gotta, I, I gotta have your mind on this this evening? Not just looking at the financial, not looking at the obvious, but Lord, I want your mind. If we were all honest, maybe this morning we'd say, well, a couple times this week, maybe. Well, I haven't been really faithful in, in reading my, my Bible this week. Well, how do you expect to have the mind of Christ? How do we expect to come in here and do these things together as a whole if we're not all seeking the mind of Christ? Seeking to think like him. Not think like myself. But to think like him. My prayer, my goal this morning is that you would understand and that you'd be challenged. Uh, maybe this week, it, it's not been a good week for you this week. You've not been in your Bible like you ought to have been. And I tell you, for us to walk, for us to have the strength we need, for us to be, uh, to face the trials and temptations that we will all face today and tomorrow and the next day. For us to face it together. For us to help each other together. For us to live together. For us to build uh, God's church together. We must have the mind of Christ. God's thinking on the matter. But then we must all desire that individually. But then together as a whole as well. This morning, Have you lived off the mind of Christ this mind this week? Have you debated things uh, your own way, or have you sought God's mind on the matter this week? Have you focused on His will this week? Have you focused on His word this week? Or have our decisions has has the way we live? brought us in here this morning ununified, divided as we walk with Christ. Is our in the mind of Christ? Have they have we all had the same desire coming into this morning's service? Some of us came because that's what we're supposed to some of us came because uh, we wanted to see somebody and talk to somebody. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. Took upon him the form of a servant, was made in the likeness of being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, things are in heaven and things in earth, things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Isn't that the mind you came in with this morning? I do. But 
focus of the mind that God desires for each one of us to desire ourselves, but also desire. Maybe this morning you're, you don't know the Lord as your Savior. And you can't have the mind of Christ without having Christ as your Savior. I'd love to have to take the opportunity from God's Word to show you how you too can know that your sins are forgiven just spend eternity in heaven. Can I tell you this morning, Christians, let this mind be you. And you know what the amazing thing is? As we begin, as we begin desiring individually to have the mind of Christ, the other things that he lists in this verse, having the same love, being of one accord, guess what? Those will fall into place as we see to be like-minded with Christ. Because then we'll all have the same desire. We'll begin getting the same instructions, the same directions from his word this morning. You know, I could ask a simple question and everybody has to raise their hands. If I said, how many of you say I'm not like-minded with Christ this morning? And that's about everybody but have to raise their hands. It's just a question for hand raising. But truth be told, we don't have the mind of Christ. But we should desire it. We should seek for it. We should search after it. I didn't ask that question because many times it's just a question for answers, but I'm Curious this morning, how many of you have a desire for the mind of Christ this morning? How many would 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 desire beyond everything to have the mind of Christ this morning? To be able to think like him, love like him, live as he did. No, I'm not going to be perfect and I'm not going to be able to do everything that he did. I can't live a sinless life. That's impossible. But can I tell you this morning, God has challenged me to desire and to live after, striving for the mind of Christ this morning. That I may please him, that I may glorify him, that I may speak as he would speak, that I may dis discern things the way he would discern them, having the same judgment. This morning, is that your desire? <coughs> With every head bowed and every eye closed this morning, Standing to our feet for an invitation time. This morning, God desires us to be like minded. For us, for all of us individually, to be like minded as a whole. The only way that is possible is through each individual having the desiring to have the mind of Christ, seeking. Christ's mindset upon us. This morning, do you desire to have that? As the piano begins to play, maybe there's someone this morning that's never, that does not know Christ as a person or the Savior this morning. We love that at times to show you from God's Word how you can know that your sins are forgiven, that you'll spend eternity in heaven. We simply do it this way, we have what we call an invitation. In just a moment, Brother Ron will begin to sing with the with the pianist. And, and those that know it, I invite you to sing it as well. We invite you to come down and we'll take God's word and share God's word with you. Christian, maybe this morning you you see the the need and the necessity for that desire, having the desire and striving for the to have Christ's mind in the matter. That this is a time that you can come down to the altar and say, Lord, you've told me, you've shown me that I need to have your mindset. I need to change my mind to be yours. Would you come? Would you take just a moment to come for his altar? I want to have your mindset. I need to be in your word. I need to strive to be. Uh, to, to grow more like you.